Hello. I've been on a bit of a quest recently looking for more bond problems for which we can apply the formulas that we've derived in recent videos to. And another good one I found is number 62 on the 2017 sample exam FM. We'll be finding the amount of the discount in the purchase price of a bond when we are given the amounts for the accumulation of discount in two coupon payments. So here's the situation. It's kind of an, a strange situation here. We've got a 40-year bond, so a very long term, purchased at a discount. The bond pays annual coupons instead of semi-annual coupons, so that's just something to be careful of. Uh, we can certainly deal with that. That means N is 40, and T is going to be in years instead of half years. The amount for the accumulation of discount in the 15th coupon is 194.82. The amount for the accumulation of discount in the 20th coupon is 306.69. We want to calculate the amount of the discount in the purchase price of this bond. Evidently, the price of the bond will be lower than the redemption amount, so it's bought at a discount. What is that difference is the goal. A couple other strange things here is we don't know what the yield rate is and we don't know what the coupon rate is. So this could seem strange and difficult at first, and even when you know what to do, it still is a little tricky to actually solve the problem. Um, one formula that will be helpful is a formula we've written down in recent videos, a formula for PRT, principal repaid at time T in the teeth coupon payment. When the bond is bought at a premium, it really is a principal repaid. This is paying down the balance or book value of the bond. is a positive quantity in that con context. When the bond is bought at a discount, this is going to be a negative quantity. The formula for this in terms of the redemption value, C, and the modified coupon rate, little g, with yield rate j, looks like this. So that's going to be one formula that's definitely helpful here. We can use it based on the givens that we have, the 15th coupon payment of 194.82. Since this bond is bought at a discount, will really be the opposite, the negative of PR at time 15. And I can deal with that up here by just switching around the roles of G and J to deal with that negative sign. This is really a positive quantity, though, because it's bought at a discount. J is going to be bigger than G. Uh, N is 40. T is 15 there. 40 minus 15 is 25, plus 1 is 26. And the other fact is that 306.69 will be negative PR at time 20. C times J minus G times VJ to the 40 minus 20 is 20, plus 1 is 21st power. It may not be clear how this information will help us find the amount of discount in the purchase price, but certainly one thing that should stand out to you right away is Oh, if I divide one equation by the other, say the top by the bottom, this part, C times, in parentheses, J minus G, those will cancel. And the VJs will be reduced to a VJ to the fifth power. So 194.82 divided by 306.69 point six three. 523428 will then equal vj to the fifth power. Okay, I divided the top equation by the bottom equation. 184.82 divided by 306.69 is this. Here the c's and the j minus g's cancel, and the vj's cancel to give you a fifth power. So looking at this, this looks like it could be useful. For one thing, I could use it to find vj raise both sides to the one-fifth power, which would be the 0.2 power. Raise this to the 0.2 power. Vj looks like to be about uh, 0.91324391. Probably is worth storing this in a register. I'm going to store it in register zero. Store in register zero. Um, we could also solve for the quantity c times j minus g if we raise this to the 21st power, plug it back in there, and then divide both sides by it. Will that be helpful, though? Let's think about why that's helpful before we actually do it. 
Think about the purchase price of the bond, which is going to be less than the redemption value, C. We can write that purchase price in terms of the premium discount formula involving C, the redemption value, and G, the modified coupon rate in this way. When the bonds bought at a discount, J is bigger than G, so this is negative. I could also write it this way in terms of our new quantity, C times J minus G. And then I would be subtracting a positive quantity, still making P, of course, less than C. And it's really then this thing right here that we're after. That's the amount of discount. That will be the answer to the problem. So that is telling me that certainly finding C times J minus G will be helpful. Then I just have to, have to, have to find AN. Certainly VN, V to the N will be easy to find, where N is 40. What about J? Well, I can find J too. Here's VJ, again up there, stored in register zero. If I take its reciprocal and subtract one, that will be J. J is going to be 0 0.09499772. It probably would be fine to round that to 0 0.095, but I will just go ahead and store that in register one. All right, we're getting close to being done. Let's go to this equation, say, take V, which is in register zero, raise it to the 21st power, take that, divide both sides by that, so take the reciprocal of that, and multiply it times 306.69. Looks like C times J minus G is a pretty big number, 2062.42. I will write that down just for the sake of having that on paper here. C times J minus G is 2062.42012. I'll store that in register two, although I really don't need to, I think. But anyway, yeah, I don't need to, but I did it anyway. Now to find the amount of discount, take that. Well, figure out AN first, then multiply it by what's in register two. So I guess it was good that I put it in register two. So let's find a n next, where n is 40. So I have v from register 0 raised to the 40th power. Subtract that from 1, divide by j, which is in register 1. Looks like a n is about 10.247469. Now just multiply that by what's in register 2. The answer is kind of big for a bond problem, but it is the correct answer, and it is one of the options on that sample exam from 2017, problem 62. It is choice E, that the amount of discount is 2134.59, and this gets rounded to 21135 on the sample exam. Okay, that is the correct answer. Here again was the problem if you want to look at it again.